what are one to two barriers that kept them from being the expert? I think that manipulating the units on numbers and realizing the definitions of the specific heat. Yeah. Right, understanding that the, the, the constant was in joules yes. as opposed to the heat was in kilojoules. That was the one biggest barrier. Yeah. And I guess if, yeah, if expert was recognizing the big mm -hmm. idea and being able to adjust it, proficient was they understood. Uh, being able to use algorithms to solve problems, but not seeing how they're connected. Okay. So like just wrote, um, I know I had to plug this well, in, this they, in, this they in. They did, they just didn't recognize what form the heat was in, in terms of the quantity. Like they took the, the 38 kilojoules, but then used 38 kilojoules with a constant that was for joules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I mean, th not this person, I'm just saying that was a in or general. Just made up another number because they thought they were missing information. Mm -hmm. They may not have taken the part from part two and inserted it in part three. So, so there's two things that are here: like not understanding where the heat came from and not understanding the unit of what was appropriate for the heat. Right. So why was this difficult for them? Isn't that kind of a? I think that's more of a, an understanding what units are. Like we, we teach them, but those students are showing that they're not really focusing on what the units are. So I like to put like they may not, they may not, because okay. we're making inferences. Mm -hmm. Like looking at problems in isolation of each other instead of looking at big picture yeah which is which it's is not the parts barrier. Whole, right? it's, yeah. it's, it's like the parts of whole the barrier it's almost like there's a missing connection because they're not able to conceptualize how they all work together so it's almost like they have to draw some kind of picture to understanding what's happening on a grand system. scale mm -hmm. so understanding so that this reaction right, just heating this which is why we show you where the heat okay. is being transferred so without that visual model they're not linking B and C together because they don't they're not so I, I guess if we're not in that point, it was difficult, they couldn't visualize how it works. Okay. Which would get to a strategy of them having to model it I mean, you just, you just can't I realize, realize that. <laughs> no, but I'm that's doing. how this goes, is you're working back and forth, you're realizing there's this part to whole thing, so what would be a strategy or an action you can so take the for them to fill that gap in because something's not connecting. So that so you're going back and forth is appropriate. Right, so in my way, I mean, to, to piggyback, the, the, to construct some kind of visual representation of okay. the problem before they attempt the problem as a roadmap or a conceptual map of how to solve it. Modeling connections between sure. parts. What about something as simple as color coding the units? The kilojoules. I think that would be definitely be for, the, for the other hurdle. Yeah, I think that would be. So I think. For the hurdle between transferring knowledge from B to C, it would be modeling, and then I like the color coding the units because if you color coded on the units and they didn't match, then you know then, then you know there's a problem. So that would that would be for the other barrier, just like size. <laughs> <laughs> just like size. All right, so let me just do a quick. I like that actually. Synopsis: Why was it difficult? It's they may not know what units are. They may not look at the big picture. Our, uh what can we do so that they reach the proficiency? Um, color coding the units and then the uh, visual model showing that all steps are linked so then I just put model graphic system in one.